you can tell a, a lullaby from a, a, a war chant in any culture. You don't need the lyrics. Um, you can tell because there are there are natural parallels between um, uh, between rhythm, tempo, and tonality on the one hand, and at least certain human emotional reactions on the other, similar to if, if um, uh, the phenomenon of, of phonesthesia, phonetic symbolism mm -hmm. in language, where uh, a lot of experiments have shown if you give people nonsense words like maluma and takata, and then you give them some shapes, and some of them are kind of blobby, amoeboid shapes, and some of them are spiky, pointy things, and everyone agrees the spiky thing is the takata, mm -hmm. and the blobby thing is the maluma. They're mm -hmm. just that, sure. or synesthesia is a, uh, Sure. Uh, well, that's uh, very right related to the sound of the language, that, that, that the word yeah. that you're doing, of course. Exactly. Well, it's the sound of the language, but it is also the, um, the articulation. That is, the, um, when you actually produce sounds like uh, uh, you know, cantankerous, mm -hmm. for sure. example, no. it's not just that you've got those sharp transitions in the speech wave, but you're forcing your sure. tongue to block the air and release it as a burst. There's something sure. violent about the, the motor commands. Which is the secret of swear words. Yeah, with a lot of them. It's true that a lot of swear words are uh, monosyllables that end in K. Mm -hmm.